Well, what do you say, Bones? You want to do the first and last track of an album? <laughs> you said, whoa. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Hi, guys. Welcome to Leave React. So, everyone's having a good day. I know I am. And we're going to be listening to two tracks from Leon Russell's debut album. Leon Russell. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be listening to A Song For You and then Roll Away The Stone. And, um, man, I am just handing out things today. Uh, the first one, well, actually, the second one, technically, Roll Away The Stone is a request from our patron, Arnie. But that song is, um, I don't know, kind of short. It's only three minutes long. And if I'm going to do a video for this legendary guy who seems to have... Uh, I don't know, slip through the cracks in a way, you know, it's at least to this generation and the generation, you know, after, like, I don't know, I'm probably one of very few people in my age who know who Leon Russell is, and that's a crying shame, because I've seen him all over the place, um, and I've misidentified him multiple times, so um, now we're not going to. We've done one track by him so far, and it was uh, Lady Blue, um, that was it. So we're going to be doing, like I said, a song for you in Roll Away the Stone. Thank you to our patron Arnie. Hopefully you don't mind me adding this other song because apparently it's one of the most covered songs in history. There you go. That's something for you, right? Originally recorded by rock singer and pianist Leon Russell for his solo album, a slow, pained plea for forgiveness and understanding from an estranged lover. Okay, there you go. At least I have that context now. If y'all aren't subscribed, Click that button right there, right now. Just do it. Don't even think about it. All right, Leon Russell. Wait, what is it? A song for you. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> it doesn't have it here, sorry. I've been so many places in my life and time. I've sung a lot of songs, I've made some bad rhymes. Didn't Elton do a version of this? I've acted out my love in stages With 10,000 people watching But we're alone now and I'm singing this song to you and I know your image of me is what I hope to be Treat you unkindly, but darling, can't you see? There's no one more important to me, darling, can't you please see through me? Mm. Cause we're alone now, and I'm singing this song to you. Damn, those vocals are good. You taught me precious secrets of the truth withholding nothing. You came out in front and I was hiding. But now I'm so much better. And if my words don't come together, Listen to the melody Cause my love in their hiding I love you in a place Where there's no space and time I love you for my life You are a friend of mine When my life is over Remember when we were together We were alone and I was singing this song to you piano is sublime. But I love you in a place where there's no space and time. I love you for my life. You are a friend. 
around a man And when my life is over Remember when we were together We were alone and now we're singing this song for you We were alone and now we're singing this song for you We were alone and now we're singing my song Singing this song for you <laughs> Damn That's a slight French horn or whatever it is. Damn, that's like a dagger through the heart. Why did I play that first, bro? <laughs> Roll away the stone. Well, at least I'll leave feeling happy. There you go. I got look at it that way. Though we got any inspiration from this. It's got a Bowie vibe to it. But I'm pretty sure this came before. was awesome okay so I retract my previous statement I'm glad that I did that one last <laughs> because that first one my god is that a dagger through the heart like I said or what because he is literally just bearing it all right there and that like slight like French horn or whatever it is it's so it's such like a, a light layer on the sound but it it, it wallops man it, it, it wow or it packs a wallop, whatever the phrase is. I don't know. Um, <laughs> that, that was, yeah, Jesus Christ, that hurt. I don't know why, man. Like, and I, I don't have that situation right now. I've had it before, absolutely. But I, I guess that was uh, just memories coming back to me, you know, because um, it's very refreshing to have somebody kind of like, 
I don't know, just put himself out there like that, you know, because he definitely was putting himself out there with that one. Um, and that's probably why that he's such a legend, you know, who should be remembered and brought up more. Um, but it feels like more the further, you know, the further we march forward, the further away we are from where we were, you know, um, and people every day get, you know, lost in the cracks, you know, obviously through reaction channels like this and other channels and such, you know, like music from this era is staying alive because, uh, there's a whole new generation waking up to it and, um, <laughs> rolling away the stone, shall we say of, uh, you know, the burden that we have of just modern life and modernity and just how bad life can get. There are still bright spots, you know, um, I'm definitely, uh, a bright spot I've noticed you know I used to think I wasn't but uh, if you look at my story I'm definitely one I'm definitely a bright spot and I have to live that you know um, and uh, it's just um, I don't know this world's a cruel place you know um, and we do some really like wicked cruel things to people and I think at the end of in things we're going to realize, you know, the real end of things, you know, we're going to realize that we're all the same, you know, <laughs> we're the universe just experiencing itself and we're all just part of the same thing, you know, and it's going to be real crazy that we um, did what we did to people, but it's going to turn out to be that we were doing it to ourselves all along, you know, just a thought. Um, I think the second song obviously kind of wipes away the um, I don't want to say blood of the, that sounds bad wipes away the, the tears, I guess you could say metaphorically of the first one. And then, um, it's just a, a joyous celebration. It feels like, um, and I really feel like Bowie might've taken inspiration from that. Cause I definitely heard that in there, but I think, um, uh, Leon Russell at this album was 1970. So, you know, I, I know Bowie was around, I think he was like hunky dory was coming out right now. I, I think if I'm remembering correctly, but, um, yeah, the guitar from Clapton and that was great. Um, I, I, of course the piano was on point. Um, I can just read it. Uh, George was on two of the tracks, but not the ones we listened to. Um, Eric Clapton did guitar. Delaney Bramblett did guitar. Alan Spencer on the bass. Uh, actually no. And then, sorry, Bill Wyman was the bass on Roll Away the Stone. Uh, Steve Winwood was keyboards on Roll Away the Stone. What? Um, uh, Ringo actually did drums on this, but not on any of those. Charlie Watts was the drummer for Roll Away the Stone. Wait, so that's like a, a Rolling Stones, a Rolling Stones, Eric Clapton, Leon Russell. What? That's crazy. That's the lineup right there, folks. Um, yeah, and that's it. There's also a Jim Horn, of course, on saxophone, who's everywhere. Mary Clayton, Joe Cocker. Oh, Joe Cocker and Bonnie Bramlett also on vocals. So, yeah, this is one of the most stacked lineups I've ever seen in my life for a, for an album. That's crazy. Um, you know, and then, of course, Leon Russell, piano, guitar, bass, and vocals. So he does everything, too. <laughs> so who knows what's doing what? I, I have no idea. I hate when it's all these names, you know, and then it's like this, 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 and then this person did all of it, too. It's like, ah, great, you know. <laughs> but I guess no matter who did what, I think those were two fantastically polar opposites of songs. One... um is a dagger through the heart and the second one pulls it out and then, you know, <laughs> just kind of, you know, stitches you up and says, you're good kid. See you later. Call me tomorrow. Take two of these and call me tomorrow. You know, um, and what a way to start and end an album. You know, you would think it would be the opposite, like roll away. The stone would be the first track and then a song for you would be the last track, but I guess not interesting, but I want to hear more from Leon Russell. So if you guys have any other suggestions by him, please leave it down below. And thank you to our patron Arnie P for a wonderful pick uh, with Roll Away the Stone. What a lineup. That was fantastic. No wonder that was such a joyous noise, a celebration, basically. All those legends on one track. You could barely contain the genius in audio form, probably. Um, and then, of course, I, I had to add in the, the sappy, you know, dagger song. So that's just me. Good job, Lee. Thanks for watching. Patreon right here. Oh.
that's a picture of it. There's a link in the description. If you join the $15 tier or up, you get one free request a month. Join any tier. You get access to all of our block videos and full album reactions. There are a shit ton on there. I mean, I'm not even kidding. There's a lot. Um, go check it out. We'd love to have you. There's a Discord server um, as well. And there's a PayPal as well, I think, in the description if you want to send a tip or request in that way. Thanks for watching.